All right, in this example, we're going to have Fathom simulate the rolling of four identical blocks. Each block has a face with a B on it, a face with an A, a face with an, another face with a B, a face with a Y, and then on two of the faces there are pictures. We want to find an experimental probability that after we roll the blocks, in order, they spell the word baby. All right, in this case, we're not going to do it with, um, with a collection where we just um, choose the B, the A, where, where we choose four blocks like we did in the other problem. In this case, our collection is going to be the four different blocks. So we have block one. Okay, so here we have our four blocks. Each of the four blocks, what we record is going to be the up face of the block. To tell it to choose from one of these six possibilities, we're going to give it the formula random pick. It's going to randomly pick from the B, the A, the other face with the B, Y, and I'll say picture one and picture two. I'm going to copy this formula because I'm going to use it for the remaining blocks. Okay, so now I'm going to have Fathom simulate the rolling of those four blocks. To do that, I'm going to go up to Collection and choose New Cases. Let me have it roll the blocks 5,000 times. Okay, and I'm going to maybe do it 20,000 in total. Okay, so these are the blocks. Now what I want to do is I want to um, spell out the blocks in order. So I want to have what block 1 has followed by block 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to call that, um, say, the string. And so for that, I'm going to use the function concat. And I'm going to use concat block 1, block 2, okay, all of the blocks. So what I'm concerned with are the blocks that spell in order B-A-B-Y. So let me scroll through and see if I can find one. Okay, obviously there's not a high probability that we're going to spell it B-A-B-Y because we haven't even found one yet. Okay, but believe me, one of them is there. All right. So now what I want to do is determine whether or not each of these strings spells out the word B-A-B-Y. So I'll type this um, B-A-B-Y. And the formula for that will be includes. Okay, I want to know if the variable string includes BABY in exact order. Okay, so it returns either true or false. If it spells out baby, then it's going to return true. If it doesn't spell out baby, then it's going to return false. So what we care about is the proportion of all these cases that are true. So to find that, we're going to bring down a summary, drag down baby, 
can we find that there are 67 of those 20,000 that are true? Not very many, and that's why I couldn't find it. So I wanted the proportion of the time that true was the answer here. So I'm going to change this to proportion. Um, the variable is baby equals true. Okay, so this is the experimental probability, about 0 0.00335, that if you toss these four blocks, then in order it will spell the word baby.